What's up? What's up? It's your boy Sneaky Q checking in with Mop Magazine with our celebrity spotlight. I got a special guest in the building. Beautiful actress, Arthur, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call her. The beautiful Carly Red is in the. With me, but you come to me with a paternity test. You didn't care to tell me, but you walk around with a okay, DNA so test. Okay, so now that you know, but you had to bring a paternity that's test. Fine, that's, real that's fine, but it's not. That's fine, but it's not. That's real. Fine, but it's not. That's real. But it's not now. Dumb bitch. Welcome to the infamous couch. Thank you, thank you, sister. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we. This is season six, Love and Hip Hop. Last mm -hmm. night was the premiere. And season two was Saints and Sinners. And Saints and Sinners. Uh, Sunday night was the premiere. Yeah, Sunday night. So you on Sunday night and Monday. Mm-hmm. Taking How does over. That feel? Taking over. I'm taking over the whole week. Shit, I just need to fill up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then you good to go. <laughs> You're good I'm to go. Straight. That's what's up. All right, so. Oh, actually, no, I, I do have Wednesdays. So I'm Sunday, Monday, and Wednesdays because Wednesdays I'm on Sirius XM on radio. So, okay. Definitely. Sunday, Mondays, and Wednesdays. I just need to fill up Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, what you gonna do? So, or, or, I know you got some stuff in the works. Yeah. I mean, everything. Everything? Yeah, I got, I got a whole kitchen cooking. Cooking. So, you just released a book too. You got a book releasing? Mm hmm. I got a book releasing. Take us through that. Tell us something about the book, though. Because we, we know you from Love and Hip Hop, Saints and Sinners, but you just released a book. Promo that book. Well, it's a sex book. Okay. It talks about my sexcapades with, um, you know, my boyfriends. Um, people are always asking me, like, so how'd you do the feet tricks? How did you do this? How'd you do that? Well, my book is going to tell you. But then I'm also releasing it's an A book and a B book. So side A is the different story sex opinions. Side B is sexual positions. Oh, okay. So it's basically telling y'all how to do those sexual positions. So ladies, you need to get this book. When is it? Is, has it already released? Yeah, it releases May 5th. May 5th. Mm -hmm. So ladies, be on the lookout for this book, May 5th. Carly Rae is giving game. Yeah, man, lots of it. Lots of it. Lots of sexual game. So what? So what? I mean, I think we should be, you know, more free-spirited with our sexual beings, you know, especially... Um, Right now in the world we live in, everyone's being so free and, and you know, so shit, Karma Sutra did it. <laughs> facts, facts. All right, so speaking of, you know, sex and dating, you're in a new relationship. Yeah, I'm in a new relationship. All of a baller alert. <laughs> <laughs> that part. That part. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a new relationship with um, Caesar from Black, Black Ink. Black Ink. Yeah, we saw each other one time and, um, so crazy um we saw each other and then been inseparable ever since wow it's one of those things where it just love at first sight or like yeah i guess you would say definitely i mean no literally that's what happened we saw each other and we haven't left each other's side since we saw each other um and um but let me put this out there we haven't had sex yet Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive. Yeah, we haven't had sex yet. And we've been kicking it for like two months now, three months now. And we haven't had sex. We're doing I'm doing like I'm putting him on a rule like Oh you know, I was about to say, was this is this his idea or your idea? Or uh, is cumulative? It's always the woman's idea. Okay. <laughs> I mean I don't know. Russell Wilson. You think about the situation? He, I'm sure that was Sierra's idea. Heck? Okay. I'm sure. Yeah, it's always the woman's idea. I mean, you know, it's just, I want to show young ladies out there, like, you know, hey, you can date someone. Because the first thing, as soon as we popped up um, on social media, the first thing people said was, oh, she's fucking, she's, they're fucking, they're fucking, they're fucking. No, we're not fucking. So Y'all just kicking it, vibing. We're, we're having a good time dating and getting to know each other. It's new, it's fresh. And we don't have to have sex yet. He's cool with that. That's dope. Well, I can remember you both. But if he cheats on me, I'm going to fuck him up. You heard that. <laughs> Caesar, don't do it, man. She ain't playing. Just use Palmer all day. <laughs> <laughs> no vaseline. <laughs> um, all right, so how how long are we, How long you think you're going to keep this up? Like, um, I'm going to try six months. Wow. We're going to go on a challenge. Him and I... Um, but probably gonna put it out there. Him and I are gonna go on a no sex challenge. Six months. So y'all trying to become activists of 
celibacy it's yep. getting to know each other and just kicking it and vibing and then let it become organic yep there you have it you, you heard this first my magazine Carly Red she just said what they're about to do yep alright so and no one knows this we haven't put it out there yet so you guys do have it first we got it first I think that's dope yeah. Um. alright we was gonna do it last night we was like cause you know loving hip hop I mean, we was like we should tell the world like you know we, we're together in a committed relationship and then tell them like we not fucking cause you know the blogs and all the things that they're saying this and that and oh she was this and that so now I mean but okay in order to find your husband right you have to date Facts. In order it's find, like you gotta keep in order shooting. to find your wife, you gotta date. What the fuck? You want me to be a nun? The difference <laughs> is, I'm I'm just like your next door neighbor. I'm just like your next door neighbor. Right? That Caesar right there. Right, it is. See. Okay. So I'm just like your next door neighbor, right? Uh huh. Um, she's having sex with maybe. You know, who knows who she's having sex with. She's doing her thing. She's dating, whatever. Differences between me is mine is out there. I'm a public figure. Yeah. So whoever I'm dating is going to be out there. But shit, your next door neighbor, you probably seen her with like 10 different dudes up and down the stairs, right? Right. Coming Facts. in the house, you seen her. You're like, wait a minute, was she with another guy last week? And then you see another, was she with another guy last week coming in and out the house? difference is mine is public because so how am I gonna ever meet my husband or ever meet if I don't date definitely you want me to just be single so right now so pretty much you're saying that Carly Red is now dating with a purpose mm-hmm. gotcha. I've been dating with a purpose well you know what I mean like now it's a but I mean but I'm not pressed to be married a lot of people are like oh my god why do I want to be pressed to be married when you got people like Kirk Frost having baby babies with other people like I'm not pressed to be married Cause what? I'm gonna get married and my husband will cheat me. See, I'm not like the other bitches. I'll go to jail. For real. I'm, I'll cut your dick off. I'll snap. Caesar, I hope you. Hey, look. You, we <laughs> gonna, I'm sending this uh, this interview to your uh, DM. To your DM. Make sure you know <laughs> this is a forewarning. Yeah, I, I don't play those games. So, in order for me to stay out of jail, in order for me not to snap, be on oxygen, Carly Red snapped on that television show. Look, let's just date and chill, be in a relationship. That way, if you cheat on me, you cheat on me, and yeah. there's no, you know, because if we get married and you cheat on me, I'm gonna snap. So you don't care about going to jail, none of that. No. Not at all. Not. At you no. would feel good in the prison cell. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, you just. He'll care. never do this to anyone else ever again. That'd be a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> all right, so we spoke about Saints and Sinners, love and hip hop. The radio. Yes. Talk about that. How did that come about? So, um, first I was doing radio on Playboy. And then okay. my contract was up with Playboy and Sirius XM said, hey, why don't you come over here? So we got Bring in the Heat with Carly Red with Dion DZ on Sirius XM Wednesdays from 4 to 6 p.m. Okay. Every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all tune in. What, so what's some of the topics? What are y'all talking about? Hot topics. Hot topics. Everything hot. Hot. Boiling hot. So I'm... From four to six, I bring the heat. I'm talking about what's going on in the news, like everything that's popular. Oh, oh. it's crazy. Yeah. All right. So that's that's Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Now we fill out. Any any movies in the works? No, not movies right now. Um, there is. Oh shoot! Thank you for reminding me. See. There. Yeah, there is some talks about me doing a project, but I can't talk about it right now. Okay. Well, we know and then that. I'm going to be, um, I just signed on to do a play that's going on tour. Okay. Directed by Miguel Nunez. Okay. Sounds dope. So you're working. So 2017 so far has been good. My 2017 be good. 2016 been good. 15 been good. So you just been winning. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a winner. That's what's up. Yeah. I don't take shorts or losers over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. You should come on my team. All right, I'm on your team. I'm yep. trying to win. 2017. We always winning on my team. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Now, we all know, you know what I'm saying, people see you on TV, public figure. What's something that people really don't know about you? You know, because everybody got their speculation about Carly Red, this, that, and third. What is it something that people don't know about you that maybe take for granted or, you know, just don't know in general? Oh, my gosh. Just, um, I think people 
people know that I'm a hustler. Okay. I think people know that. I mean, I just gave you exclusive. Like, I don't have sex with all my all, all the people I'm dating. Um, I think people know that um, I'm a grinder. I got a lot of businesses going on. But I'm also... Don't you have a hair company? Yeah, I have a hair company. Okay, yeah. I have a hair company called Uchi Hair. Car- Uchi Hair by, by... Carly Red Hair by Uchi. So, so look, let me ask you this now. We talk about hair. You did something about the uh, the lace the lace front. Oh yeah. What made, what made you what made you want to tell people that? Cause I mean I know girls know what's up between the lace front and your natural hair, baby hairs and stuff like that. Why oh, why do you feel the need to do that? Okay, because um, I woke up in the morning. Okay, C's had his event, and we decided to tell the world at his Black Ink Atlanta grand opening that we were dating. Okay. Right. That was like we were like you know what this is when we're gonna tell you right because we've been seeing each other for a while but we just decided we're gonna let the world know at his event. Cool. So there was a picture with me and another cast member um, on the red carpet, and um, I love her to death. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Her name is Sierra. She's a new member of Love and Hip Hop. Okay. Um, well, she has on a lace front wig. Okay. And um, you know. Ladies with lace fronts wigs, I don't know what it is about it, but they, for some reason, do this whole baby hair thing, you know, whatever. But um, under the comments and just people just kept saying, oh, you know, fake ass baby hairs, Carly Rae got fake ass baby hairs, and I was like, fake ass lace front, lace front looking horrible, look at her <laughs> fucking lace front. I mean, it was just crazy. Just trashing you. Yeah, they was, and I was like, okay. When I woke up in the morning, me and C's in the car going to get breakfast and going to his shop, and he's dropping me off to my shop. I was like, yo, babe, damn, they coming for me thinking I got fake edges. And he was like, yeah, that's that's pretty. Thing. Yeah, I said, what, baby? Maybe I should say something about it. I should put it out there that you know, not everyone, you know, wears a wig, or not everyone, you know, sometimes my baby hair shows, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you know, it, you can't just come for people like that. So, so you just had, you just had to put it out there, yeah. and let these know, let yeah. these chicks know that hey, this is all natural. Yeah, sometimes it's natural, sometimes it's not. It's okay. That's what's up. That's it's what's okay. Up. That's what's up. All right. Well, look. Oh yeah, philanthropist. Oh yeah, I have many foundations. I uh-huh. just mm-hmm. got um, honored by the Georgia State Capitol House of Representatives, Erica Thomas, for my charity work in Haiti and in. Dope, dope. See, that's see. This is the type of stuff we need. To, you know what I'm saying? This is Carly Rae. Right? This needs to be on Baller Alert. Oh, tell me about. You know, it. in Shade Room and all and of that. In Shade Room. No, um, Shade Room did post though me getting honored my award. I would say that. Thank you, Shade Room. Okay. They did post that. Um, well. For my charity work in Atlanta and the States and overseas in Haiti, I have a foundation in Haiti called Giving Hearts with Love. And what we do is we throw concerts. We, t- we throw free concerts. We were um, the biggest, oh my gosh, we just had Kirk Franklin there a few months ago. And it was the biggest turnout ever Haiti has ever had. Dope. It was at the soccer stadium. And oh my God, that was the first time Kirk Franklin has ever been to Haiti. So... The turnout was crazy. Everyone was talking about it. And um, when I got back to the States, you know, I still do my charity work here. Uh, the, the government of Atlanta was like, yo, you know, hey, um, hey, we're going to be at the Georgia State Garden. We want to honor you for your charity foundations. I was like, what? That's dope. So, you know, I had to have mommy in the building. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. And, um, they gave me a plaque and they said my name and it felt really good, That's you know. What's up. And then I, right after that, the mayor of Tallahassee sent us an email saying they want to honor me too. So sometime this month I got to go to Tallahassee and be honored because I guess they have a big Haitian community down in oh, Florida. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely in Florida, definitely mm-hmm. in Florida. So he said there's a big Haitian community down there and they have um, recognized my work and they would love for me to come down there so I can be honored too for for all the things that I've been doing. That's what's up. Yeah, so kudos to you on that. Yeah, man, you gotta, you know, I love, I love, I love kids. Okay. Does Carly Rae plan to have kids anytime soon? I want a boy. Okay. Yeah, me and Caesar were talking about it. That so, we were talking about. Just after six months. After yes. All right. After we finally have sex. Right. <laughs> a year or whatever. See, it might be that six month day one. You know. <laughs> it might be. You never know. Oh shit! 
If you like it, put a ring on it. Cause ain't shit happening unless you put a ring on it. Facts, facts. Well, look, man, I appreciate you. Oh no, thank you for having me. Definitely. Um, best of luck to you. Keep grinding. Yeah. Keep us. What else? Is there anything else you want to get out there? Oh, it's so much. What um, else? I haven't slept in like three days, literally. God, it, I just look. We had to get a. a <laughs> I don't know what so is it, five I'm hour? slightly tired. He just gave me a five hour energy just to give me a kick up. Uh gosh, uh, my stores. Okay. I have uh what? Three stores now. Mm -hmm. Um, two in Atlanta, one in LA. Okay. My stores are called Mercy, M E R C I. Okay. Where's this where's the store at in Atlanta? Uh one is in the North Point Wall, the other one is in Stonecrest Mall. Okay, okay. Yeah, and um, my stores, they're 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 really cute. They're really nice. They're for uh, I sell mostly women clothing. Okay. And um, I like to call it my store. Let's see. The way I, I think of my store when I think of my store is that celebrity trending clothes at affordable prices. Definitely. Okay. So you can wear what a celebrity wears and, and just for affordable prices. You don't have to jack up your price. You know. Five hundred dollars for a freaking shorts, so you know you don't have to jack up your price. You can wear affordable clothes too. Dope, 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 yeah. dope. So more opening soon, or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely, definitely. And I think I might. I'm, I was talking to C's about um, opening a tattoo shop with him. Okay. Investing in one of his tattoo shops, so he has a few. So. That's what's up. Yeah. Growing together. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what's up. Shoot. You gotta make some money together. That's what's what up. What else? Oh my gosh, my sex book. It's definitely Hair. a sex book. The ladies, I'm, 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 I'm gonna make sure the ladies definitely do what they Grab gotta do. Grab that book. Grab that it's book. It's gonna be off the chain. But yeah, the, the, I have a clothing line. Okay. Um, which I sell in my stores, but okay. it's also gonna go in um, stores like Foot Locker. I'm looking into that. Okay, dope. That's We're dope. I'm looking into that right now. Um, but yeah, um, sheesh. Clothing so line, much. Uh, stores, uh, sex book, um, my foundations, uh, Saints and Sinners, Love and Hip Hop. Oh my gosh, uh, my music. I have a record label. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, uh, hustler. <laughs> I have a record label called Red Entertainment. It's okay. Through um, Empire. Oh. Distributed through Empire. I'm, I'm taking talent. Now, don't be going in my DM. How can so okay? Like, so don't be want, going in my DM. And for artists wanting to see you with whack music. ass fucking music, I'm tired of that shit. So how do they send you music? Uh, music at carlyred.com. Okay. Please, if you do not have your song on iTunes, that is a request that I ask. Cause guess what? Before I even did Love and Hip Hop, I already had put my me. I did it on my own. Put my song on iTunes. So if I could do it, you could do it too. Gotcha. Put your song on iTunes, then send it. Then send it. That shows me that you're worth ethics. Don't stop sending me shit from your freaking. So do you iPhone. take everything? Is it is Please. It particular genre? Any particular genre that you um? Music is of all genres. Okay. I'm looking for talent. Okay. You never know when that hit's gonna come. It could come from rock and roll. It could come from country. It could come from hip hop. It could come from. You you never know when that hit's gonna come. And me personally, you know, talent is talent. Dope, dope. And I, because I'm international, hey. You know, I'm Trinidadian, but I'm everywhere. I'm all over the country, from Africa to Spain to Italy, and I listen to people of all genres, so I'm taking talent anywhere and That's anyhow. What's up. You never know. Independent artist, man. There you go. So you just the plug. Clothes, hair, sex book. Sex book. Clothes, hair, sex book, um, stores, uh, Saints and Sinners, Love and Hip Hop. Radio show. Radio show. Jeez. Yeah, it's a lot. That's why I'm so tired. That's why I'm done. super busy. So that's what a hustler and looks keeping like. Keeping up with a man at that. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Well, kudos to you because I, I I had no clue you did all those things. Yeah, you know? it's crazy. So Carly Red is not in a box. She does a series of things. Yeah. Crazy. Got you, man. Well, look, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm gonna be tuning in Sunday and Monday. I don't, I don't normally watch the show, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch. Yeah, watch it. Yeah. Because, yeah, because what, what can we expect though? Like, once this, you this watch season? it, be careful though. Both okay. Saints and Sinners and Love and Hip Hop. 
once you watch those shows, you're hooked. We won't see you on Sunday. Y'all won't see him on Sundays. Oh, man. <laughs> 8 o'clock, he's going to be gone. You're going to be hooked. Like, once you watch it, it's over. You're hooked. It's, 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 now you it's a me. guilty pleasure. Seriously. It's, it's, it's both a guilty pleasure. That's what's up. Well, I'm going to check it out. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I... Oh, 8 o'clock. Well, yeah, what's up? Uh, yeah, what, both shows. Time? Both shows. Come on. Saints and Sinners comes on at 9 p.m. Central. And Love and Hip Hop is 8 p.m. But you know, Love and Hip Hop, they do reruns Three all ones. day long. And so. you can watch it on, well, no, it's not until, you can watch it on website too. Yeah, both. Yeah, you both, can watch yeah. both on the website. Okay. Bounce TV and VH1. That's what's up. Yeah. It's Carly Red, Mop Magazine. Yeah. It's your boy Sneaky Q. Until next time, we oh, are here. Oh, I forgot to say something. Oh. I'm in the 2017 Guinness Book of World Records. For what? For having the highest grossing movie of all time in Nigeria. Uh, no, in Nollywood. They call it Nollywood. So okay. it's like Nigeria, all over Africa. Yeah, it's the highest grossing movie ever. That's dope. Yeah, called 30 Days in Atlanta. 30 Days in Atlanta. So how can we watch that? We yeah, you can go get that from anywhere. You go get that anywhere? Mm -hmm. Amazon, right. wherever you want to get it. But yeah, I, I play a star role in this movie, and I never thought it was going to do so well. And um, yeah. That's what's up. That's what, see, that was a, see that was big that you stopped it because <laughs> we was about to end it. We never know now you ain't getting it. So now, how, what 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 more can we add? Man, I'm I tell you I'm tired. I'm gonna keep telling y'all later. Go get some rest. <laughs> you hear my voice is going out. God, I'm gonna tell y'all later, okay? <laughs> All right, go get some rest, man. But look, thanks again. No, thank Best you. of luck to you. Appreciate you. Until next time, it's your boy Sneaky Q, the beautiful Carly Red. Thank you. We out here. Peace. Thanks.